Hello, my name is David with Winning Solutions. We hope this video will be all the help you need. Are you trying to create an access database, but find that it is too much work, or you could be doing something more productive with your time? WSI can do all the hard work for you. Just contact us via the information below this video. We will work with you to determine how much time and money will be needed to build your new database. If you'd prefer to have your database built with .NET, Microsoft SQL Server, so you can run it on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser, we could do that too. So this is going to be a brief video about trusted locations and trust settings. So uh, what I'm going to do is I have um, a sample database here in this directory called temp. And a lot of you, when you open a database, especially for the first time, might see a message like this. Let me just get it on screen here. Okay, might see a message like the security warning, some active content has been disabled. So access is a very powerful tool and just real quickly, um, things like macros, even though this database doesn't have any macros in it, nevertheless, they can be used um, by malicious people to do some pretty bad things. So basically this is, access is saying that we, I, I don't know, uh, I don't know if I can trust so trust this database. I don't know if, I, if, if it's secure, what type of source. I mean, it could be basically like opening up uh, an application with a virus in it. Um, and so based, that's why I'm saying some active content has been disabled. Active such as you know, macros are the probably the number one example. They, they can, they're very useful, but they can be dangerous if they're used badly. So um, I'm not going to hit enable content. What I'm going to do is show you how to get rid of this. And so what we could do is we could go to options uh, and trust center. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell access, it's okay, this database is fine. Now there's a couple of ways I could do that. I could, I could add it to the list of trusted documents. Um, that would just be kind of just for this one file. Usually you'll have a folder that you keep database, access databases in. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go to add trusted locations. And just to do this one more time, um, I went from, I went to file options, uh, trust center settings, and then trusted locations. And I'm going to add a new location here and browse and browse that location. Now you see not, nothing appears in the search because we're looking for folders, not files, but, but it's the folder name that we're looking at. So temp, I didn't want to, I didn't want to say enable. Uh, I won't bother with some folders. We're going to delete this soon anyway. Uh, I don't want to do enable content because that, that'll, I want to make the trusted location to show you that that won't happen again. So now I'm just going to close the database and I'm going to reopen it. You can see now we don't get the message because Access knows that anything in this DTEMP is a trusted database. Again, we could do this on an individual database or we could do it on a folder. And by the way, this, this uh, also in Excel is a very similar, um, but uh, if, it's, if you have a trusted location in Excel, you have to do that trusted location for Access as well, but Excel has the same security feature because Excel can have macros and code and, and things like that too. Thank you for watching. We hope this video was all the help you needed for your Access database. If you are struggling to create an Access database that does what you need it to do and just want someone to make that happen for you, that is the business we are in. Our contact information is below the video. You can reach out to us and we will work with you to determine how long it will take and how much it will cost to get your database up and going. If the time and cost are acceptable to you, WSI will get to work and make your database vision a reality. Perhaps Microsoft.net or MS SQL Server would be the better choices for your new database, so it can run on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser. WSI will help you make this determination if you like. Again, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day.